Okay. All right. I'm going to keep this as quick as possible and just, I'm just going to get right into it. Okay. So first of all, we're going to need extra objects, the add on extra objects. We're going to need that. So we're going to do shift a mesh and we're going to go, if I can find it, uh, rock generator. We're going to click here. We're just going to skew on the Y a little bit, like, like something like that maybe. And we need one rock. Okay. Let's just mess about with the seed until we find something we like. Okay. Let's just go back a little bit. Maybe something like that. A little bit shorter. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so we're going to apply that. We're going to do Command A, Command A, Command A, Command A, Command A. Apply all of that. We're going to go Generate, Remesh. And we're going to apply that as well. Oops. Yep. Command A. Okay. Now we need to displace it uh, with some rock textures. We do that by going into Sculpting. We can go into Texture, New. And select a, a rock texture from the internet or anything like that. I'm going to be using this one here. So we're going to go into Dino Topo. What? Uh, dynamic Typology. Topology. Though. That's what it is anyway. We're going to have to go to about two here. And we're going to reduce the strength a little bit. And basically we want to make our strongest details or deepest de details first. And then build up with finer details. So I'm just going to go around and apply this. And just making sure I get every everywhere on the rock. So just making sure bits and bobs are okay, tiny bits. Yeah, I think everything's, I think this is okay. We don't want to go too crazy on it. We need to um, build up the detail. Okay, so displacement maps work best for this. So if you have any displacement maps on rocks, just use that because it, it really uh, displaces it correctly, you know? Okay, so we're going to go to texture and just change it. So if we go here, we can go to our texture and we change it up to something else so this maybe and this is where we can actually drop the uh, detail size so i'm gonna go one and that's a bit too strong so really trial and error on this and we're just going to apply this everywhere okay so it's looking pretty rocky it's a bit too intense here we might not use this side but you know it's all about experimenting and finding what you like really with this there's no right or wrong answers, you know. It's really just uh, finding what you like. If you hit, if you hold shift and click, you're actually going to flatten out a lot of the geometry, which gives you more room to add further detail. This is where you really get the, the rock effect. So in details that are just a bit too punchy or spiky, you can add this to really create that photorealistic mesh. Okay, so I think this is good enough for the tutorial. Obviously, you could spend hours getting this perfect, but we're going to roll with this for now. So we're going to need to actually save because this is definitely going to crash. So we're going to hit save and just save it here. As you can see, I've already crashed and I've had to refilm this. So yeah, now we want to actually set up our scene. So we're going to go into our layout, drag this across, pick the best side. I'm going to go here. So camera, G-E-Y, select the camera there. I'm going to go 1080, 1350, G-Y. Maybe we should, so we're going to need to kind of position this in a nice composition. So just going to play about with it. I'm liking that. So we just need to find a position that feels rocky. I'm going to go with that. It's not perfect, but it, you know, it's just it's just for the tutorial. So I'm going to add an area light, GZ. We're going to go into cycles. I'm going to set the spread to zero. GPU computes. I'm going to turn this on. So now what we want to do is go into shading, use nodes, add a noise texture, put that into there, add a color ramp, add a color ramp, pull that in, pull that in. And we're going to pull this in. Turn all of this down to zero and we're going to scale this up to something like that. And then we can turn the power up also something like that. Okay. Now we're going to go into our color management, turn the look to high contrast, turn our world's lighting up. We're going to add a plane, GZ, bring that down. We're going to add a background. So RX90, GY, 
scale that up, give it an angle like that. We're actually going to turn our world down a tiny bit. Okay, so we're actually going to scrap that and add another light. Give it a track to object constraint and we'll track it to an empty. So select our area light and select the empty. And now that's just going to help us follow, always make it always track to the center. So we're going to light this up like that and just moving these lights around to create a really dynamic look. I'm going to turn this one down. We're going to turn this one down, scale this one up. Sorry. And we're going to go to the shader editor here and just turn the size of this down. Something beautiful. We can also go into 4D and this is going to help us choose a seed or just change the evolution of the noise. Really? That one's quite nice. Okay. So we've lit up our rock. Now we need to shade it. So we're not going to do too much. We're going to keep this quite simple. We're just going to pull the roughness down and select our ambient occlusion and plug that in. We're going to add a color ramp and just pull this up a little bit. We'll pull this up also a little bit. Okay. We're just going to keep it super simple and I'm just going to invert it. I might actually just make this a little bit darker, something like that and make this much lighter, which should be good. So now with the background, I'm going to go into the shader editor, new, going to hit control T to leave the color texture and add color ramp. Look that into there and make it something like that. I'm also going to give this a slight emission just for a bit more light. I should do, going to select my camera, go into my viewport display and bring that up. I think, to be honest, I think it was nicer how I had it. I don't know what you think, but I think I preferred it when it was this way around and this was much darker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go with that. I think there's a couple more things I need to change, like dropping this by quite a bit. I think it's creating a bit too much light. Should we bring it right behind? Just going to make sure everything's lit nicely. Yeah. You can take this pretty far. This is just a very quick um, approach to how you can do it. You can spend a lot more time getting the, the model nice and the lighting a little bit better, you know, just by messing with stuff like the exposure, for example, that instantly just makes things a little bit easier to control. And, you know, you can, you can then start to bump these lights up a little bit more and it can just make things a little bit more moody, but yeah. So like this, for example, it's instantly more contrast and probably more stuff I can do here, like scale it in, G, Y, like, you know, that looks a bit nicer to me, to be honest. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and see you soon.